Today we are covering the importance of grind size and the effects it can have on our final drink if it's too fine or too coarse. Howdy, my name is Alex and I'm a coffee trainer with Bailey's Coffee Roasters. We'll be using a V60 brewer and server, filter paper, digital scales, common down the grinder, and a pouring kettle. Now, as coffee is really complex, today we'll be focusing exclusively on grind size for V60. We'll see what is a good range for V60 grind size and talk about some factors that will help us determine if we have to do any fine tuning from that point. Now, remember, there are multiple factors that can affect your extraction and your flavor. We suggest that you go for a brew guide that can give you a little bit more information on factors such as temperature, agitation, and brew time, so you can get the optimal flavor profile. We suggest a range between medium fine and medium coarse. Now, the best way you can determine if you have a good extraction is by taste. If you need a more visual representation, Kruv's grind size reference ruler does a really good job putting things into perspective. So just compare the particle size right here, but remember to refer back to taste. Another good starting point you might be more familiar with is to have similar texture between table salt and brown sugar. Now let's do a taste comparison between medium fine and medium coarse coffee. We'll brew pretty much two coffees here and then evaluate the taste in the end. Now what we can expect actually from the finer ground coffee is that obviously it will have a more extended contact with water and therefore what we might get actually is a little bit more bitterness to it and um, there's one way to really know it's actually the taste test and the opposite effect will happen as well if the coffee ground is too coarse we can just get we'll probably get a little bit more acidity there sharper coffee um, so what we want to do is actually bring it back to a nice medium, balance, thing, balance things out a little bit and get some sweetness, juiciness and an overall balanced result. What is really important here as well is between brews to maintain the same technique according to the brew guide, use the same temperature of water and try and keep everything nearly identical between the two brews. All right, so let's go ahead and taste our two different brews here. First off, our medium fine grind setting. All right, so it's not a terrible cup of coffee. Um, what I do notice here is that it's slightly on the bitter end and it's a little bit dry, so I would like actually to go from that point a little bit coarser, but yeah, overall good. Let's try the second one. So that's the medium course. It's not bad either, but not there yet either. Um, so from that point, I'd probably go a little bit finer because at this stage we have a little bit too much acidity. Coffee is a bit weak. What we want to achieve here overall folks is have a nice sweet, juicy, and balanced cup coffee. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, follow us on social media, and stay tuned for more videos.